Fusion Reactor. Battletech Universe's heart. Less than a century after know-how accomplishment by GM's engineers in 2020, fusion engines achieved technology progress to use protium, the most abundant isotope of hydrogen, instead deuterium or tritium, emulating the proton-proton chain of reactions inside most stars' cores. Thanks to so, a battle mech's fusion engine can usually last for decades on a few kilograms of fuel. While mechs classify the fusion engine based on the maximum cruising momentum produced, which is calculated as the product of the mech's mass and her maximum walking speed, vehicles have a slightly calculation adjust centered on their suspension system. Unlike popular belief, there is absolutely no risk of a fusion engine become a nuke. Once the containment coils are damaged, the superheated plasma loses stability and touches the walls of the reactor, cooling below fusion temperatures, destroying the containing chamber, and shutting down the engine. Rare events of critical failure only happens when the vacuum chamber is punctured, and air is sucked in, superheating and suffering a violent thermal expansion, what, in turn, ruptures the engine in a brilliant explosion. Nonetheless, in most cases the massive radiation shielding of the engine, a tungsten carbide shell that accounts for over two-thirds of the total weight, usually buys the milliseconds needed for the safety systems to shut it down. Later, further developments on such shielding would produce light, extra light, extra extra light, and compact variants through new building techniques and usage of materials, trading mass for volume of components. Subscribe for more videos like this. Bye for now.